these are the most insane watches worn by YouTubers. Oh, and before I forget, I will show you guys how much money every YouTuber earns per month from YouTube as well. So stay tuned for that. Let's start off with who I think is the OG biggest YouTuber, PewDiePie. Woo! Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is PewDiePie. PewDiePie has a whopping 111 million subscribers, which is over a million times more than me. He mostly makes gaming and reacting videos. Maybe he will react to this video. So, PewDiePie, if you're watching this, I just want to say I really like your watch. Now, you're asking yourself, what watch does he wear? I was about to tell you. Yeah! But first, let's talk about why he bought the watch. He bought it because he was getting engaged thinking about why his wife got a nice ring and he didn't get anything. So, he bought a Rolex GMT Master 2. I bought this, uh, this watch. It's not like crazy expensive, but it's still an expensive watch. The standard version, worth $15,000. Not that much considering he makes around 80 k a month only from his YouTube ad revenue. On to Casey Neistat. The man from New York City who made so many good YouTube videos. With his videos where he goes on insanely expensive flights getting the most views. His chill way of talking, filming, and editing make his videos super entertaining to watch. He always has new gadgets to show on camera. This was also the case when he got spotted with a watch we are interested in. He wears a solid gold Rolex Submariner. A lovely Submariner that is quite rare and expensive. I think this Rolex is the reason he always wears sunglasses. Because if he didn't, his eyes would get damaged from the sunlight reflecting off the gold into his eyes. The watch costs a solid $40,000. Now, the question is, how much money does he make from YouTube? Well, nowadays he makes around $25,000 a month on YouTube. One of the most famous vloggers ever, who is now more focused on Pokemon cards, boxing, NFTs, and is killing it with his prime hydration drink. That's probably his main income source, because he doesn't really upload that much anymore on YouTube. He has a podcast YouTube channel called Impulsive as well, which is going way better than his main channel because he uploads more frequently on there. His podcast and podcast shorts channel, Impulsive, make about 200000 a month. Logan makes a lot of money with all of his businesses together, and that's probably why he can afford a Rolex Daydate 40 Platinum Ice Blue Roman Dial. I finally have a Rolex, not just any Rolex. Yo, come here, let me spit some facts. Worth $85,000, a big amount. But his brother, Jake Ball, owns watches 10 times that price. But we'll get to him later in the video. First, I still gotta tell you how much his main channel makes him. It's around $30,000 a month. He could buy his Rolex four times a year with only the income of his main channel. On to his little brother, Jake Paul. The man who is trying to take over the whole boxing scene and is doing quite a good job at it. He wasn't taken seriously at first, but now he definitely is. He's knocking people out left and right and says he's becoming the greatest boxer of all time. His mission used to be to become the greatest blogger of all time, back when he was part of Team 10. It's really cool to see how times can change. Back in the day, he also didn't really have nice watches, but now he has stepped his game up. The first watch we are discussing is his Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Chandelier. This watch is also owned by the legend 50 Cent, who we covered in a video we made about rappers from the 90s and their watches. Make sure to check that out after you watch this video. The AP Chandelier costs around $200,000. I don't think we'll be gifting this watch to Tyrone Woodley like the Rolex he gifted to Tyrone before their fight. Before I will tell you what Jake Paul makes with YouTube, we're gonna look at someone else's watches. And Jake will come back later with an even more expensive watch. Warning, Steve is a trained professional. Do not attempt anything you see on this page. When we are making a list about YouTubers and their watches, we have to put Steve will do it in it. Steve got famous on Instagram, making videos where he drank insane amounts of alcohol or ate insane amounts of food. But he really blew up when he joined the Nelk Boys and started to make YouTube videos for his own channel. And we want to introduce you to one of our boys. Steve will do it. What's good, baby? What's up, man? What's up, boss people? That's Corona. Unfortunately, his channel got taken down a month ago, so I can't show you what he made on ad revenue. But he already was demonetized. 
so we didn't really make any money from YouTube views in the first place. However, I can show you what the Nelk boys make, even though they're demonetized too. But first, the watch. I have to tell you, this man has a full collection of watches worth over 4 million dollars, but I'm only gonna show his two best pieces in this video. First off, we are looking at his RM011, a 50 pieces limited Richard Mill Asia edition in white ceramic. A very cool and expensive watch that will set you back around $550,000. Insane, right? But even more insane is a second watch. But we will show you that together with the money Nelg makes monthly if they were monetized later. It's Jake Paul again with a watch that costs $850,000. And there are no fakes here, but a genuine and extremely special Richard Mill RM1103 called the Ivory, with a 45mm case in white ceramic and titanium, featuring a skeletonized chronograph dial. This model can only be bought by Richard Mill VIP clients, which is why it is one of the most rare and sought after watches ever produced by the brand. He wore it in a picture next to Drake while being completely sober. What a G. And as I promised, I would show you the money Jake makes on his channel where he now only uploads videos about boxing. He still makes about 20k a month with that channel, even though he clearly doesn't give a shit about what he uploads. Let's hop over to the last watch of this video and this will not disappoint. As I said earlier, Steve will do it will be mentioned again with an even more expensive watch. And even though this watch is worth more than the first 5 watches together, wow. It's not the price that makes it so special. The wash is just impossible to get your hands on. It's so rare. I'm obviously talking about his Audemars Piguet Royal Oak reference number 15412OR. Obviously. This watch is an absolute beauty. It's beautiful. The frosted yellow gold together with the rainbow diamond set bezel makes it so special. And all that for only 900 grand. Wow. <laughs> oh my god! A cool way to end the video, but I still have to tell you what the Nelk boys make with their YouTube channel. It comes in at around 30k a month, but it does not make a big difference for them. The real money they make comes from the merchandise that all their loyal fans buy. And if you don't want to miss out on any other watch related content, you should subscribe to the channel. Also make sure to follow us on TikTok and Instagram for daily watch content. And if you like number one, you should watch this video about Formula One. So what are you waiting for? Just click it, but not before you subscribe.